coach carrying asylum seekers to be accommodated on the Bibby Stockholm uh, barge has now arrived in uh, Portland. Uh, still uh, local residents, of course, opposed to that, who've been uh, getting uh, these various uh, opposition uh, gatherings. And uh, the issue, of course, most recently, Legionella bacteria found in the water supply on board the barge. It's more than two months uh, since the barge, which can hold up to 500 people, well, was essentially shut down. So let's speak to our southwest of England reporter, Jeff Moody, who's at Portland Port. Uh, that coach arrived about one o'clock, Jeff. Good afternoon. Do we know how many people are going on board this time? We don't. The Home Office is being very tight-lipped about it. There were 39 people that arrived last time. We think it's going to be something similar. We've had one coach today and we're told that's it. No more coaches today, but there should be one tomorrow as well. So however many people were on the coach, we couldn't tell because the windows were all blacked out. They're now on board the Bibby, Bibby Stockholm settling in. The reaction they got when they arrived, they got a protest here at the port from the Stand Up to Racism group uh, who welcome refugees, just don't think that they should be on the barge. They've got all sorts of welcome packs. They were handing out flowers and welcome packs that contain um, notepads, um, emergency helplines, that sort of thing. But there was an unexpected protest today, one that none of us could have predicted. Just stop oil managed to halt the, the uh, bus as it was coming along the beach road onto the island of Portland itself. They managed to uh, make the bus stop to a standstill. <clears throat> the police managed to fairly swiftly move them out of the way and the bus carried on with its journey. But as you say, that um, as you... Oh, Jeff. Oh, did you? You just watched it, did you? OK. Well, uh, the, 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 there's people here saying that there were no police around. I saw in the pictures that I saw that there were police there that managed to, to stop them. But um, they're, they're now on the barge, as we say, settling in. Um, there was all sorts of issues, of course. It's, this has been going on since April. This is the several attempts to, to get them to... Um, to get them on, on board. Um, there's been all sorts of legal challenges, as we know, in the last few months since August. The most recent one from uh, Caroline Parks, who's the mayor down here, who put in a legal challenge saying that um, planning permission wasn't, uh, wasn't in situ. Planning permission wasn't um, as appropriate as it should be given those circumstances. The High Court very recently uh, chucked that out, said that, that she hadn't uh, produced her evidence in time and that they weren't going to count it. And so here we are today when they're now back on board um for how long though we don't know yeah we've just seen one of the, the pictures of the the bus that's arrived there jeff and clearly as as we've been hearing still voices of opposition on on both sides of the divide but are we getting an indication about how many other buses how many people could be transported there despite the home office as you say staying tight-lipped on the issue Well, I mean, there could be anything up to 500, but we're told that that's not going to be likely to happen this year. It's going to be a gradual adding of people. They're going to put a few into the mix, see how they got on, see how things go, and then try and add a few more in afterwards. So I think that's generally the, the way they're going to go about it. It'll be a few at a time over the next few weeks and months. Jeff, what reassurances are there there for people boarding that, that um, this barge is safe, it is secure? Because, of course, as you were saying, there was the problem with the Legionella bacteria back in the summer. Well, the Home Office has said that the problems with Legionella have been sorted out. They're saying that they've now tested the water several times. I mean, this happened fairly early on, about two weeks after they initially came off of the barge with the water had been sorted out. It's worth saying that um, 39 of the um, refugees that originally came on the barge before wrote an open letter to the Home Office saying that they really didn't want to go back on the barge. They said that it was very, they felt very unsafe there. They said that after the perilous journeys that they'd taken to get to Britain, um, they didn't want to go back on the water. And they said that it had a very detrimental effect to their mental health. So whether the Home Office has addressed that particular issue, I don't know. But it certainly looks as though the issue with the water supply has been sorted out fairly early on.